everybody, AFU here, also known as Atlas the Silkwing. You can see that the cover for Wings of Fire, The Poison Jungle is released. Oh my gosh. There's so much to say on this book, really. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is stunning. It's fabulous. There's like so much I have to talk about. Is this the best cover yet, in my opinion? One of the better ones, for sure. I mean, the way the emphasis is with the wing, how it covers, like, a whole chunk of the page is fabulous. I actually kind of expected it to look a little bit more like the cover for the Hidden Kingdom. It didn't. It's showing a lot of the side of Sundew. I mean, you can see her belly and all that, but it's it's an interesting touch. I like it. The wings and the, like, sails on the back obviously look like leaves. Some of her scale patterns look a little more brownish or golden-like. I, I That's a little bit different, but it still looks really, really stunning on Sundew. And um, everything here with, like, the white in the background, like, the sun shining through those trees. And it's a really dense forest, it looks like. I mean, in the Hidden Kingdom, the colors are a lot more vibrant, big, clear, um, good, you know, glory, kind of roaring, spreading out her wings. Sundew seems a little bit more coiled up here. I mean, the tail, man, looks, I mean, with the leaf lake tail, it looks really cool. And there's actually a sundew on the bottom right corner, which looks really cool. Nice callback. I mean, you can see there are two dragons on the top left corner as well. Are those leaf wings? Or are those hive wings? I don't know. I'm assuming leaf wings. I mean, clearly there are still leaf wings out there and alive. Back for revenge for the hive wings. Um, and yeah, this summary is out, which is also really, really cool. And it says the number one New York, New York Times best-selling Wings of Fire series travels deeper into the dragon world than ever before. Ooh, I think this might be the book that kind of is like has the biggest one of the biggest adventures yet like it goes like into the dragon world like Sundu knows what it's like to be a leafling the dragons of destiny do know what it was like um the other dragons in the second arc are kind of new to communicating Sundu looks like she already knows like her lifestyle and what's going on cricket does too but she had that mind control and i mean blue kind of knew but he I don't think he really knew what it was like to truly be a silkwing. Like, he clearly didn't know about the flame silks and what it's like to be one, and he didn't know what it's like to fly. I mean, that's not Blue's fault, but I feel like this is our very first protagonist that knows what it's like to be born and be raised in her home. It's obviously called the Poison Jungle. It's taking place there. We already know that. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't be called the Poison Jungle. I mean... It's really interesting. I mean, I can't wait to see where this, se this series goes. And um, first, Leafwing protagonist, obviously. And it says, uncovering the Leafwing tribe, which everyone thought was extinct. Instead, these adaptive dragons are hidden in a treacherous poison jungle, plotting revenge against the Hivelings. Can a group of young dragonets prevent another war? Or will the continent of Pentella be torn apart forever? I'm really excited to see where this goes. I really, really am. And I th I'm sure you guys have noticed this already, but Cindy is missing her pouches. I'm not sure if Tui kind of wants to get dive deep into the designs a little bit. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it lo I think Sundu would look a lot better without her pouches, to be honest. That's just me, though. And um, I'm just really excited to see where this goes. It comes out July 30th, 2019. It's book 13. Third arc, third book and third arc. And I'm so excited. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. I'll probably do some Leafwing theories soon. Bye.